Be careful of that second step. Oh, <laughs> that is rather wobbly, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. So how are you holding up, Emma? Oh, it's all becoming too much. I just want things to get back to normal. I thought I was lucky. A couple of weeks ago, I hired a young man to fix those steps. Oh, really? Yes, he was delivering the newspaper and saw my steps were in bad shape. So, Emma, he came to the back door? So what? He said he was a carpenter and could fix it in no time. Have you spoken to your son about this? Oh, no. Sam and his family are moving into a new house, and I didn't want to bother them. Besides, he was very polite and clean and trustworthy. There was somewhat of a sad story. Because of COVID, he lost his job, mm -hmm. and he's only wanting to earn extra money. Did you get his name or any other information? Yes, of course I did. Here's his name. John Jones and his address. And he told me all that he was going to do. He lived close by and he was going to build the steps out in his house and he was going to use cedar and then stain the wood. Well, uh, he certainly seems to know something about wood. But John Jones, I mean, mm, how, how much is this going to cost? I think I made a terrible mistake. Because of his situation, he asked for an advance. And because I trusted him, I relented. And how much did you give him? Well, he asked for 250 to start with. And he'd give me all the receipts. You know, it sounds too good to be true. Did you actually give him the money? Oh, yes, I did. And I haven't heard from him since. I thought he was just too busy. I phoned my bank and he'd cashed the check. How could I have been so naive? Oh, Emma, I am so, so sorry that this happened. I mean, I know we all make mistakes, but really, I honestly think you should do something about it. I can't tell Sam I feel foolish. It's not as if I don't know about scams. My daughter sent me this just the other day. Con man preys on seniors. Yeah. And hang on a minute. Do you recognize him? Yes. That's him. Okay, Emma. It says in the article that if you have any information, you should call the police. I mean, who knows what will happen, but you know, at least you might be able to stop it from happening to somebody else. Okay, thank you, Judy. I'll phone the police. But I'm not looking forward to telling Sam. He has doubts about me living on my own as it is. I'm going to dinner there on Sunday night. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, I do, Emma. Oh. I do. A sad reality in this digital age is that there are a lot of fraudsters out there who target seniors. They often use tactics that prey on emotion. When you receive an email or a phone call that seems not quite right, remember, try to spot the scam. Stop. Take a breath. Fraudsters prey on feelings of urgency. Consider, did they call you or did you contact them? Ask. Ask a trusted friend or family member to take a look at an email or tell them about a call. Money. Did that email, phone call, or text ask you for money or offer you money? Stay scam alert. For more resources, visit www.antifraudcenter.ca.